Every move that you make is recorded in the air. I have not been convinced that aliens have come to Earth or even to our solar system because some people claim there's pyramids on Mars and uh, structures on Mercury and other similar things which are explained by natural phenomena. They clearly don't look like, uh, I don't know, man-made or alien-made things, monuments, uh, bases, pyramids, whatever the case may be. Uh, the face on Mars isn't really a face, etc. There's so much out there where people will say, there must be the case for it, but really it doesn't look like uh, that's plausible in any way, shape or form. I'm sure if this video gets more than a few views, uh, someone's going to say sooner, sooner or later that, uh, hey, check out this video. You know, how do you disprove that? Even though they offer no real evidence, no real proof. But alien life beyond our solar system or even within our solar system at a basic level, sure, why not? Um, ancient civilizations which may have visited our solar system, perhaps I haven't been convinced yet. Bacterial life, potentially under the surface of Mars, maybe. Uh, underneath Europa and other icy uh, moons of the gas giants, potentially, yes. Um, objects further out in the solar system, probably not, because of the lack of heat. The heat caused in the moons of the gas giants is due to the gravitational forces that constantly need the planets and heat up their cores, allowing for there to be potentially a liquid ocean underneath a, an ice sheet. So that's quite interesting to me. The potential for life, even if we don't have the actuality, but there's enough uh, potential out there to make it that, well, out of the planets that we've already discovered in other star systems, I would say it's quite plausible to say that some life probably exists, probably in our own backyard, you know, within our own... Uh, <laughs> the, the distance that our radio signals have gone out over the last century or so, I wouldn't say it's implausible to find alien life, non-triestrial life, on some of those worlds, perhaps. I don't know it. I can't say it's for sure, but it is plausible, at least in my opinion. What about civilization? Alien civilizations. I covered a video partially to do with this the other day. Um, I think that's very plausible. Yeah, I, I do think that alien life is somewhere out there in the universe. I think it's a reasonable assertion to say that civilizations, even space-faring civilizations, could well exist. How far they expand, uh, how well they do, Considering the distances involved, it could take millions of years to travel and uh, colonise an entire galaxy, of course. Even galaxies far smaller than our own. But still, the possibility of it, out of the quite literally billions, trillions of galaxies which are seemingly out there, I don't think it's implausible to say that there would be spacefaring civilizations. I don't think we're going to find aliens in every star system or every other star system or every hundredth star system. We're not going to find alien civilizations as a regular occurrence. But I do think we will find them. Are they in our backyard? Well, if they are, they're not using the same communication technology as we are. Perhaps they've died out. Perhaps they've yet to rise. Perhaps the equivalent to apes on their world are still developing towards, well, something which might be akin to us, not that every single e evolution would go our direction and our path. You could have a well-adapted, ape-like, or even human-like creature on another world, and they fit the niche of their environment, which is a stable environment, very well. No need to change. And so they don't. And so they don't expand, they don't innovate, they don't use anything beyond the most basic tools. Civilization doesn't arise. It's possible to have a stable state as opposed to an expansive and developing state, which is what civilization is and promotes. So it may well be there could be a limitation on that, or there could be a slower evolution where there isn't the same level of, well, need to adapt. A very stable world might be perfect for us to colonise. 
you know, it's in a, a good location, uh, the electromagnetic field is suitable as to defend it from um, certain types of radiation, okay, good. Um, there are defences there for it, the planet is active but not overly active, tectonic movements aren't overly violent, um, other natural occurrences aren't over the top, there's a lot of uh, stability, if we found that, it would be lovely to colonise. But in terms of the development of its own life forms, its own natural development, it may well be that it is so stable as to not require necessarily the highest levels of biological evolution. Which basically means you end up with life forms developing, but the need to adapt being lesser, and therefore unique or even quite advanced traits, such as large brains are capable of thinking themselves uh, around situations, or thinking themselves out of situations, may not necessarily evolve, or are going to be less common, far less common, far less likely, or may take many millions upon millions of years to develop, you know, to develop um, longer than us. So it may well be we might not find our counterparts, but we could find many homes for humanity in millions of years from now as we go to those locations. There could be more violent and more disruptive locations where life has flourished and is able to change, is able to adapt in a far more efficient way, where most life has been smashed and crushed and defeated time and time again so only the strong survive, the best adapted. And so as a result of that life which does live on that planet, you are more likely to find something which is capable of surviving the worst conditions. We'll be in our full armoured, I don't know, suits and uh, <laughs> defended from, say, heavy radiation or extraordinary weather conditions or toxic atmosphere. But something in it, given enough time, given enough ability to adapt, could potentially develop into something which is quite remarkable. But still, I would say that life out there, especially intelligent life, higher forms of evolutionary life like us, higher in terms of our brain capacity, might well be an extreme rarity. But I certainly wouldn't write it off as being somehow implausible. Not even in our own galaxy, not even strictly speaking when we have so little data in our own region of the galaxy, you know, several hundred light years across. I wouldn't say that we are necessarily alone in that area, that region. But we could be. We could be alone as far as um, developed life, as far as civilization. We could find there are fish or, th or things akin to fish. We could find that there's um, highly advanced bacteria that's all over the place. But we could also find there's just civilizations that have stagnated or suffered through war and live in a kind of fallout situation or they're just rising. Or there's long dead civilizations, ancient dead cities, underground, I don't know, on uh, some ancient rocky world where the atmosphere has slowly but surely been burnt away by its star. But the remnants, the relics, the ruins of an ancient civilization still remain. Possible. But I certainly wouldn't say I know that. And that's the key thing. Until we know, we cannot say. And if a person claims to know, they should be able to express how they think that they know. Every move that you make is recorded in the air.